Okay, we're, we've returned. We've slept, and now we are super ready to cry at Barrett's backstory. Wait, does that say circle? <laughs> and this is where we ditch them. Hey, Oliver. Look forward to how nonplussed Vincent's gonna be at by the gold saucer. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh my god. I can't wait to see him. Thank you, Cully, for three months. Oh, she's so cute with the hand. I forgot about that. And she found a weapon for herself. Oh, she's so... Oh. She's so cute. I love that this song kind of has... It's like a mix of the vines, but also Yuffie's theme. Yo, look at her! She's so cute. Okay, you... Wait, you have to learn Blindside. I never use that. Windstorm's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna use a whole bunch of Blindside. Greetings, Gypsy. How's it going? Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Hi, Ponto. You made it just in time for the dungeon. Oh, I love this song so much. They immediately go back to default weapons. Yeah, I don't blame you. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, she's all ninjaing out. Maybe the ghost of our scenario? Whoa, that's random. That's cool though, that's not easy. It's become like puzzle games basically though. Really hard puzzle game. Doo -doo. Okay, Doo -doo. It's my first play. <laughs> no, that's cool. It's just funny. Like I'm so used to everyone talking about Final Fantasy, though. So when you're bringing up, well, what's going on? Bring up another game. It's like, oh yeah, other games exist right now. I guess I did the counter. Yo, Pac-Man. Oh yeah, I forgot to start the YouTube video. Yellow cables are giving you whiplash. Looks like it's missing texture. It really does. They're like so brightly yellow. Ooh. Your semblance. Gold saucer day. Gold saucer round one. I can't wait. Playing other games. Yeah, like freaking Lego Jurassic World. <laughs> There's like a tier list of like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> There's well, obviously FF7 Rebirth up here. And Ponzo's just like, no, I'm gonna play RE2. And then Brendan's over here with like Lego Jurassic World. <laughs> what's here? What's next? Is when's, when's somebody gonna tell me they're playing Orphan on PS2? I wanna backseat, can I give you some advice or something optional later? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll hear you out. You say on Tifa all day. The game on 3DS. That was on 3DS? Jurassic World? I know I can't wait to play Unicorn Overlord, but that's definitely gonna be after this game, probably off stream. RE1 remake to the V Jolt keypad from Motor Memory. Really nice! I feel like I never really remember it. In the desert after first gold saucer's secret enemy for Chadley, you must have steel for that. Okay. Mini spaghetti serving. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I really should be stealing for more bosses and stuff. I just kind of forget. Can we challenge that enemy? It's not a one-time fight. Oh, that's good then. I was worried it was missable. It really does look like it's mix missing a texture. Alright, that's to go back down.
Colored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll s wait, it's not... Doing the dialogue tells you that the drop isn't what's ideal. Okay. Well, I don't know what you guys are talking about yet, so... I'll try to keep that in mind for when I get there. Because right now, this just sounds like gibberish. <laughs> like, I don't know, like some bird enemy. We'll see. Uh... Doo -doo. Do I have to? All these people could jump. I'm gonna say I will show up soon. I hope so. Do do do. What's everyone else playing? Anyone who's not playing Rebirth, what are you, what are you playing? Tell me about your lives while we go through this dungeon. I want to hear it all. Okay, I have to do something about an elevator. Path of Exile? Because they always want to play. <laughs> you shared yours. Not playing Rebirth. Hey, not everyone's got a PS5. Golden Sun. Oh, is that more the minecart? Oh, that's where we started. Oh wait, you can actually see like Aerith and Red's tail from here. Wow, they're actually animated like still. I mean, it's not that it's like difficult to do or like super impressive, but that's just, I love, I love when you like go through levels and just see how they connect. Like, it's one of my favorite thing of Souls games, for example, like when you unlock shortcuts and you just see like an area you familiar with and you're like, whoa, it connects here. Like, that's just, I had just had that same feeling here. Yeah, when they don't fake the space. Yeah. And but it's like it's such a good use of space, too, because like everything's just like interconnected, like intertwined. It's not like just a straight line. <laughs> Playing Borderlands 3 in between reverse sessions. Really? That's so random. Finish Dead Space OG. I loved I love both regular and remake, but see I didn't mind the zero G sections all that much in OG. But I mean I could live without them. <laughs> Pokemon Y, cause Legend Z A got you excited. Oh yeah, I forgot that got announced. Was Grand Blue, but Reaver is just too good. Playing FF14. Classic wow. Cookie Run, <laughs> Persona 3 Reload. What's our mellow? Oh my god, it's so many. You guys finishing Xenoblade 3? Y'all are like blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Cause my brain is so rebirth right now. I'm like actually feeling like holy crap other games exist. Disco Elysium watching rebirth streams, nice. Right before rebirth, it's just nice to be playing for wealth after I beat this. Good choice, I love the new Yakuza games. Oh, there's these. How do I climb it up? Can I jump up there? Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, there we go. Yes, I love Like a Dragon. Seven. I love Like a Dragon yeah. 8. I mi I still miss it so much. 23, you played through 13 Yakuza games. Did you feel the burnout? Because I love the Yakuza games, but I played 3, 4, and 5 in a row, and by the end of 5, I'm like, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I played all I played them all as well, but I think it's a bad idea to try to bear us on through some of those games. Like, I absolutely love them, but they can get really exhausting. Waiting for you whenever I finish other stuff. Like Lego Jurassic World. There's 70% of the sub stories too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's when it gets Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's just a lot. Like I, I feel I feel like part of the reason I didn't like parts of like I like parts of five a lot but I also disliked a lot of it I think it's mostly just because I was burnt out of the point but 
Yeah, next time I go through them, I'm definitely gonna take a breather. Like, I, I also want to do like all the sub stories because I never did that. I never. There isn't a single Yakuza game where I did all the sub stories of. So, I'm gonna have to do that. But I'm definitely gonna split the games up. Like, I'll play through all X Zero. I'll play some other games. I'll go through one again. Marathons are great, but even the best series need to be spaced out a bit. Yeah, it's just because, like, Yakuza combat's so similar for most of the games. That it, it just feels like you're playing one really long game that doesn't carry over. Because you're starting... Like, you, you, like, you level up your shit enough, and then you start over, but the combat's the same. <laughs> Not the same, but you know. But yeah, even the best series definitely feel it. I like Persona. And have you played all the games some that are very similar? Yeah. Oh my god, Yuffie, that was so cute. Ah, I love them like team working. Team working? Working as a team. Both apply, but it's so cute. I love this game. But yeah, yeah, because some sort it's like some of them are like copy paste, but just replace a couple words, and it's like the same story. Sometimes I see like returning characters, and I'm like, I gotta help you again. Like, what? What do you want this time? I love how it's a continuation. Yes, I. It's it's great. One of my favorite things was. Every, for every new game, like, you get to see how Kamurocho changed. Kind of like you're going to a time chamber when you play, like, Yakuza 1. And you can see Kamurocho, like, you know, matching, like, 2005 Japan. And then when you see Kamurocho in Infinite Wild, it's like, oh, it's so different. Order Yuffie statue. I'll probably get, like, the static arts figures. Yeah, like, you know all the street names, you know, like, I I'm, I'm kind of bad with, like, the street names. But if they say, like, oh, we gotta go to Pink Street, I'll be like, yo, that's in this direction over here somewhere. <laughs> it's like, you just know. I love it. To unpack with this and remake PS, or was a heck of a deal? Oh, yeah, 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 they do have that. I forgot for my... When the Square Enix gave me a code, they're like, you could advertise this if you want, and I forgot. Thank you, Twin Pack. Can you do Blindside? Master Blindside. He's so cute. <laughs> do do. I do like her. Her OG. I don't know. Like it's like the the weird like pant like sleeve that she has in o the OG. Version I, I really like. I like this new one too. Being broken as usual. Alright, let's learn her new weapon. Windstorm. That one looks so much cooler than this dumb boomerang. That's more like a scythe. What up after release? Show sure up the same day. Bonus round, focus shot. She should still learn overpower. But her pants- yeah, that's- that's a huge upgrade. Her pants being buttoned up. And she has a belt. <laughs> Keep that up. Ends up humming the victory theme from Barrett. I think she- does she do it in, in intermission? Wait, is that the first time she hummed it? I feel like I re I recognize it. Because they did have some time together that we didn't see, so maybe she could have. Her and Baird are already best friends. <laughs> this just reminds me of RE4. I feel like a typewriter should be here, and like a box you have to knife. Everything reminds me of RE4. Oh, look at this wagon. Cart thing. What's up, Squishy? Sorry, do you get used to the dub in eight? Playing seven with sub, I only skimmed through the VOD. Uh, no, it it didn't. It wasn't hard to get used to it for me, but 
Like, it, it was, like, different at first, but then I got used to it pretty quickly just because the dub is really good. If it was a bad dub and I, like, forced myself to get through it, I'd be like, take the uses. There's some characters that I feel like do not match them, but not, not, the, all the main characters are fine. Even Kiryu, like, I don't think his, I don't think his English dub is like, the best, but he's fine. Everyone else did, though, is amazing. Like, Ichiban's perfect. Arachi. Nanba, of course. Nanba's wonderful. We love Nanba's VA. Shout out to the Greg Chun for being an awesome human being. Oh. No, our weapon hit an obstacle. Itchy's itchy. <laughs> He's English. I think it like it adds to him like it just it just adds to his like goofy persona. Like I already love Ichiban even with the, the Japanese dub. But yeah, when when it's a language you can like understand like the subtleties of people's tones and stuff, like it adds so many layers to it. Cause like I don't understand like I'm learning Japanese, but like I don't understand Japanese like well enough to pick up on tone. Like sometimes it's like obvious if somebody's like overreacting or being shocked or like happy and stuff like that. But there's there's definitely subtleties to people's to pe to languages that can only be picked up on by native speakers, you know. And there's just so many like hilarious moments with Ichiban because I understand English. <laughs> Oh, honestly, wait, so I saw my start with Judgment English as the first Yakuza game kept Japanese Yakuza. One game, what language I should play? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. If you started Judgment in English, then I think you'd be fine with, like, getting used to Yakuza 8 in English. And I feel like if crossovers happens, it'll be with those characters the same. No, the legacy don't say that Ponto makes me sad. Man, is he dense? He's wonderful. Ichi, I love Ichiban in every way. <laughs> He's seriously one of the best protagonists in any game for, for me. Alright, I think that's everything here. Everyone's like, Yuffie, you ready? By a tower, we'll consider it. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be bad. Like I said, the only the only one that I think isn't great is Kiryu. Like, he's fine though, I don't know. Uh, people are like really hard on Kiryu's English VA. I, I think that's partially because people don't like the person. I don't know anything about the person, so I like I think he does a fine job, but I think the problem is that Kiryu, Kiryu's Japanese v VA and persona is just like so iconic that I think like it'd be difficult for anybody to emulate that. So I think he did fine, <laughs> that being said. Like it's just, it's just one of those things where it's his Japanese VA just created a legacy with that character and his voice. And everything, and you'll you'll never replace that. And especially in another language. Oh yeah, I had a YouTube channel before starting voice acting, so I'd be part of the dislike. Yeah, that's all I see. People just say like, people just say mean things about him for like YouTube related things. But I don't know. I think as an actor, he's fine. Japanese you for so long in English is good, your brain rejects it on some level. Yeah, I understand that. If you're like too used to one thing. I'm used to both now because I watched most of it in English, but since the dub isn't caught up, I had to switch to Japanese. Like, I'm used to that now too. And I, it's definitely like per person basis as well, because some people can get you like adjust to languages faster than others. I guess it's no issue to continue English with the new gang. True. I don't think it'll be. I don't know, we'll see. Because there's always like potential for spin-off games. They proved that with like a Dragon Gaiden that they're, they're willing to have side games. Oh, whenever Red opens his mouth, Usopp's voice comes out. <laughs> That's so funny. So he just sounds just like Usopp. 
I had to get used to Usopp's English VA because his English VA is also Krillin and he just sounds like Krillin. But now I hear Usopp, so if I hear Krillin talk, I'll be like, oh, it's Usopp. I know! I want to guide in Majima game. I want to guide in Majima Saijima and Daigo game would be sick, but I'll take this Majima. Something between zero and one would be sick. Or like Majima Wild here, he was in prison in one. I'm gonna die. Because it's like he, he had to do something for 10 years. He could have just been waiting for Kiryu to get out of prison for 10 years. <laughs> See Akane again. Yeah, she deserves to be in another game. She was cool. And I memed on her a lot when I played the game with her. Joryu! Constantly. But she was cool. Have they done a Yakuza in the 90s yet? Um, Yakuza 0 takes place in the late 80s. And I guess technically Yakuza's, Yakuza 1's intro is in the 90s, but that's it. Is her name a comic? Kane a comic? I can't remember. I love the concept of Guided too. I wish we'd get more spinoff. Yeah, Judgment's a spinoff, but I mean like with Yakuza characters. A spinoff in its own series. Gold Needle. Let's. We need an item transmute. Oh, never mind. Oh, I have, I have the supplies for this. Well, now it's next game. Probably next week because they're freaking on crack with making games. <laughs> I can't believe we got Ishin, Gaiden, and Eight. In like within a year, it's nuts. They're I love them so much. <laughs> They've definitely become one of my favorite developers. Like I just I'll accept any game from them. They said they wanted to make a Sonic game at some point, and I'm like, let them. They'll make a anything everything anything they make would be better than Sonic game. That's not saying much, I know, but damn. <laughs> Yeah, I can see something coming out at the end of this year. Apparently they made Like a Dragon Gaiden after they finished 8, which is why stuff in Gaiden doesn't really coincide well with 8, like Kanoa. Um, so possibly... So, you know... Probably get other stuff. I would love to get pens on. So I wouldn't have pool in 8. Maybe. But yeah, that's I heard it was done after, which is kind of like bizarre because like Gaiden was always meant to be like a side thing, I guess. But then they saw potential to make it a full game, but it was still done after they finished eight. Maybe we'll get pool. Yeah, I forgot we didn't get pool. Hopefully we get pool next game. Hi, Sparks. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to heal. I have to use items. No, I keep wanting to item transmute, that's my problem. That's why I lose track of what I'm doing. That <laughs> period's gonna be fine. Hi Enzo, yeah, pretty much. I didn't want to stop. Oh, hey, Bags is on YouTube. Yo, Megamind, yo, Metal. A chair boss fight, like a chair. Bro, <laughs> Daidoji and I. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, like Daidoji is gonna be the next target, or that's what it'll start. It's like the vid to stop by. Thanks, thanks for keeping the peace, bags. Bye Enzo, enjoy the lurk. Yeah, the game's amazing. Also, I love every time I use items, I always end up finding a bench like right after it. Perfect timing. Do 
All right. Can I like? Come on, I want to bob and weave. Damn it! I was so sure I could get it from there. All right, so let me knock down that ladder. <laughs> Hey, Junker, thanks for 29 months. Oh man. I don't want to go back down here. Well, I guess we have the elevator, right? What the fuck? <laughs> have they been here? I honestly, yeah, I think I think I'm just like used to playing remake. But I have been thinking rebirth was a little harder. But I think it's because they want they want you to utilize synergy, and I don't really do it too well. But when you do use synergy, the game's not hard. I feel like it, it, it doesn't break it, but it it's like balanced around uh, buffing your crew, and fucking over enemies when they're doing their attacks. All right, weak to fire, huh? All in, burn, all in burn. But it's not gonna be hard now that we have Yuffie. Okay, what's their synergy? Do you have one with Tifa? Cyclonic kick. Tifa and Yuffie leap in the air and brings up throwing star down on a foe. Use on staggered foes to increase potency to extend stagger. Yes! Maybe. Let me out. <laughs> yeah. Damn! A double dive kick! So I have Yuffie. Well, she's pretty great. Can't wait for you to get her. It's like they knew. I lo dive kicks are so cool to me. I love them so much. You got this. You even have to ask. Wait, so we were supposed to go down? Oh man, because I feel like going up. No, that kind of sucks. Because I feel like. I guess we can wait. Can we teleport back there? Because I feel like I didn't fully explore before I went down. They were set us so well already. They knew the power of the dive kick. <laughs> dive kick chainsaw. Yeah. Oh wait, this, is that when she pulls out the chainsaw? Yes, Oliver. Well, it's been less than an hour of my stream. He's already on his bullshit. <laughs> Yo, we get to move this. Can we like? Nice. God, they're stealing Final Fantasy. This something like this is in Final Fantasy IX, and they're stealing Chocobo Hot and Cold. They're stealing this mechanic. Leave something for nine. Like with Steiner and Marcus in the cage, and they gotta do the thing. Can't believe Square copied off FF9. <laughs> I can't believe they're, but they're like they're taking stuff from Nine, putting it in Seven, and then when it's in Nine, people are gonna be like, "Oh, they took that from Seven, but no." 
It was a thousand, was it? I don't know, I never I never did all the way. Make all the programming for nine so it's easier to remake. You know what? Maybe maybe. Maybe that works. Also high blookers. Yeah, whatever makes nine happen easier, I guess. That's what I should be thinking. Alright, you feed Oh my god, I swear I thought she was just gonna die in there. Did you take that flowey from nine? There's so many flowies in nine. Are we just going back here? So you could just swim. You ripped it right from the ground of Final Fantasy IX. They said FF9 remake might be a thing. Someone was actually seeing Rebirth. <laughs> they saw the two mini games. We're in a we're in a Coral Mine. I thought we'd have to go up there. So now that that's open. I know, I love Final Fantasy IX so much. Oh, is this where we came down? Wait, this might be good then. God, if the Final Fantasy IX remake ever does happen, like, they can finally... Um... They can flesh out stuff that they wanted to. So, cause like, Final Fantasy IX was developed in a year. Which, I know that doesn't sound like a, a lot of time, and it's not, but like, they were more efficient, I guess, for that. But, that game, Final Fantasy IX is already freaking huge and impressive. There's a lot going on, it's pretty long, there's it's four discs, uh, there's so many characters and subplots and areas. But they still cut stuff out, they cut out a lot of stuff in FF9. So if they ever make a remake, there's a chance to put put all that in. Yeah, Justice for Lonnie, for example. Making that in a year is insane, right? It's, it's it's crazy. Like they were really efficient with it. But like, like there's a reason why Freya's uh, arc ends so early on. Because, like, Freya, Freya's amazing. I love Freya so much. Her arc is incredible, but she does end up feeling like a background character after the arc's done. And Amaranth always is a background character. But that's because they had to cut a lot of stuff out that would have fleshed them out further. Because, like, the the strongest characters are the first four. So, like, Zidane, Dagger, Steiner, and Vivi. Because they got the, all the attention. To the best games of all time, how to rush the final act, yeah. Yeah, no one remembers he exists. Like, I don't know what Queen is about. <laughs> so a remake would make all that happen. But it doesn't even have to be a fully fleshed out remake like this. Because Nine has that like cartoony aesthetic to it, so they could keep it as cartoony as they want. And still be able to add stuff. You're about to remake a remaster? Yeah, I was like in an NVIDIA leak, but no one knows, knows what it means. Because I feel like nowadays, like the term remake and. Like it said remake, it didn't say remaster, but still the term remake is kind of like muddy. Cause it's like, is it like, is it like a Final Fantasy VII type remake? Or is it like a near replicant type remake where it's still the same game that has been remade, but it's still one-to-one, -one, you know? I think with Final Fantasy IX, it, it might be more of like a near replicant scenario. Not exactly, but more of it. And that's fine with me. Like, I think the aesthetic is part of the charm of FF9. Because the fact that it looks like it, it's like a it's like a storybook, you know, like the game even kind of like every everything about FF9 has that storybook feeling where it's like everything's colorful, like all the backgrounds are painted. Everything it's just like 
There's so much color in that game. It's so pretty. And I feel like trying to make it like a realistic game would um, take away a lot of that charm. Fans, you made Alexandria Town looks amazing. Yes! I've seen that. I've watched it. There's more. That's where I came from. Who was writing the book? You saved an army. We think it was a story book. That too, yeah. I, I love I love that the Moogles are your save points in that game. But it's like even the beginning, like it literally starts with a play, so I feel like the tone of the game has been set from the beginning. Feel weird if they remain like this one. I feel like they ruined BB. Right, like it wouldn't it wouldn't match. Cause like Final Fantasy IX, like Nine's not different with, in terms of how dark and serious Nine can get, but the fact that it is like storybook aesthetic is like that juxtaposition of the two is what makes it for me. Like I think it it lose so much charm if they try to make it realistic. I'll just say Moogle over and over without saying they get annoyed. <laughs> I, I used to do that in the overworlds all the time. No surprise is there. No surprise is there. Return to the series roots. And it sure added quite the fantasy aspect to it. I like it though. It I think I think having seven, eight, and then nine in that order is just it's such a golden era of the series. And even like ten after it. So you're the safe sound with the Moogle jumping? Same. They used to be my, they used to be my text tone for a while. What's my text tone now? Oh, it's Virgil. <laughs> Where's your motivation? Yeah, six, six to ten especially was like the golden era. Era. I think I, I think six. Six to seven is really fun because it's kind of like it's the biggest leap, obviously, with um, pixel to 3D models. Let's see. I have to go up more. Is that not the way? Because now we have this running. Here, well, we can come back up. What did this do? Did we do this now? Because this is a new era area. See ya, pals! Look how confident she is. Oh, it's this place. And that goes that goes further up, yes. This is what we want. Hurt you feet. Sounds like she's saying Vaporeon. What's Barrett in you feet? He's gonna kill them before I even get to see it. I think it was- it was, it was a fire. She did a fire attack and said, Vaporeon! <laughs> so when she does a lightning attack, she's gonna say, Flareon. Are 
guess we learned windstorm. I have to play four and five. I think it was just game how was an auto run holding our twos killing your hands. Are you trying to rush through the game, Polly? <laughs> I want to soak the sights in. Oh, materia. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, people get so mad at me when I don't run in games. I think I didn't run through a lot of Fire Emblem Three houses. And people in the comments are really mad. They're like, you know you can run in the town, right? I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> like, oh my god, you're not running. Funny. I don't know. I like playing games slow. Yes, that's where we're going. Like, you only get your first playthrough once. Why would you want to rush it? Especially for something you love. Go faster! End this game faster! This game that we've all been waiting for 4 and or 25 years for, depending on who you ask. But I want you to rush it. By 25, I mean more like, like 27 or something. God damn it, buy the rifle! <laughs> They're still there! Oh my god, wait a minute! No, that's so sick because we were there. We were. Bro, I'm like high right now. I'm like, bro, we were there and now we're here. No, but like for real, in a not high sense. I love that we started there and I don't even know how we got over here, but suddenly we're on this side. <laughs> Cause yeah, there, we can see them. I love it. Not in the high sense. <laughs> just, just, just in, in a way that I'm very impressed by the level design of this area. <laughs> I just had my tunnel hole moment. <laughs> I love it. Bro. Yeah, cause cause we went we went down the the zip line. I don't remember how I got Barrett and Tifa there. But now we're here. I know, crazy I was just gonna jump in like the black coats. I was worried. I was starting to get emotional last night. Cause I, I just, I'm so attached to Cloud now, right? And like, just seeing him not in control of himself and like... Just not himself was sad. I'm not ready for the scene in Medeal, but that's later. Take like a week to beat Elden Ring? Yeah, I mean I took my time with that game, but I, I played it a lot. Like, just like this. Like, I'm doing 13 hour streams, and, like, not rushing it, definitely playing it slow as shit. <laughs> Something, can you not have Cloud in your party anytime? Most of the time you have to have Cloud, but there's a reason we don't have Cloud in our party right now. Wait, where's. It's probably like a wall I have to find. Doo -doo. Wait, that goes- that goes down. Why- oh yeah, because we have to get the cloud. Icon still says up though, so that's why I'm like, thrown off. Come on, Kashi. Take your time to still run around. Hell yeah. However, I can't. Bono, <laughs> Bono. So confused at what part in the original this is toward. Here, actually, I, I put a picture last night of what part in the game this is. You guys remember this part in the original? This is where we are, and this is heading towards uh, Mount Corel that has the, the like the it looks like roller coaster tracks, and then we're heading towards um, Barrett's story. Yeah, yeah, Jake Zero, you ha you have it right. But yeah, look, <laughs> that's, that's what it was 27 years ago, and now look at us. No way. Bang, 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 bang. He died. We still got a job to do. Fuck on this. Did you think this is funny? 
Spawn out. He has haste. We better use it. Here, I have to give him steel skin real quick. And then Tifa. Here you be. The way it like cuts to Barrett who killed the enemy, and then back to Yuffie. I hope there's a freaking bench downstairs. Jesus. Yes, this one. Wait, are we going the right way? It just sees. It still says going up. Oh, my tailbone. Can you search? I'm so lost, I kind of like... The, we have to get to Cloud and open the... the lower the bridge. This fucking bird, man. I'm gonna go back up. Do -do -do. That goes further down. I don't think we want that though, right? I'm so happy these exist. Slamming down Cloud sitting gently. Well, Cloud needs the cushion. Guys, Cloud's 21, okay? He's getting up there in age. <laughs> in in JRPG terms, he's he's gotta be careful. Yeah, so the bridge is there. So yeah, we wanna get down now, I guess. So we could just keep going down. So we unlocked the door, right? We did all that? That's where we came from. So I was just like, bro, I'm so high. What is that? What is that green thing on the wall? Oh, oh no, this is it. Never mind. I- I thought where the place we came from was- or I thought the place we were going- I thought this is where we came from, the place we came from is where we were going. He's almost a senior citizen, yeah. Hardened vet at the ripe old age of 21. I guess 28. I- I'm pretty sure he's 30. I remember looking it up at some point, and I- I was like- I, I remember being impressed that they had him in his 30s cuz like everyone's in their 20s or like anyone that anyone that's in their 30s is like gruff like Barrett and Sid, right? And then Rufus was had the audacity to be 30 and he's like he's pretty <laughs> he's the prettiest 30-year-old man. I'd be surprised Rude and Reno were like 17. I know they're not because of them being in like Crisis Core and stuff, but I wouldn't be surprised either. Oliver! Sylvia's not working. Oh, right. Is it because I have to. Not again. Why do I gotta do all the work? Because, Yuffie. You wanted to join them! I mean, this turns it on. Oh, that lowers it. Oh! Oh, it's timed? This is silly. What kind of contraption is this? Holds Vincent? He was 27 in his, his, his history, whatever, and he slept for like 30 years, I think it was, so he's like 57. Maybe it's 20 years, I can't remember. 
But he's supposed to be 27 if you don't count the sleep status. Yeah, plot contraption. Like, <laughs> I love seeing this kind of stuff in games and trying to just assume what they're used for. I don't know, cranes? To the Elena fight, that was type. I love Elena in this game. Like, look! <laughs> this, this was built for Yuffie. It goes around. She's having her own little roller coaster. Lifting and moving construction equipment. Yeah, but it's like it's like on rickety ass boardwalks. So like, how are they moving construction equipment? Like, are they placing it down on these? Because it would break it. Because there's like there's like stairs. Wait, are there stairs? Oh, this is another platform. All right, can we swing over there? Look, it's the Final Fantasy IX thing again! <laughs> yeah, the workers all had grappling hooks. That is the only possible explanation. Why'd it go back up automatically? It sensed a, a weight of 100 pounds and was just like, oh, gotta move it up. Gotta swing into work today, everyone. <laughs> Isn't their job hard enough? Like, they're working in mines and you're telling me they want they want them to swing to work. Oh, I did My depth perception was so off. I did not realize- I thought she was way higher than that. I was like, when am I gonna be able to land on it? Okay. Jesus. I didn't know I had to hit it with my body. <laughs> Imagine being the worker. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go turn the elevator on and he has to whack himself into the switch. Oh great, and I have to deal with a bomb on my way to work. Ugh, I just wanna get this over with. <laughs> Alright, buddy, we can well, have to assess you first. <sighs> OSHA compliant. Maybe if it is for them. I don't know, like do you think they're the rules in this universe are a lot more lenient? People die all the time, but it's just like, well, what can you do? Oh yeah, Bond has no reason. <laughs> like they have to do the whole like not it, cause smacking your body into a to a metal pole like as a switch doesn't seem very comfortable. So imagine like the person is like, okay, we gotta flip the switch again. Not it. <laughs> This is why the miners are willing to sell it to Shinra. They just didn't think Shinra would be worse. They didn't know that the same rule applies everywhere. What are you doing? Coming, inflicting enough damage while they're breathing for all the pressure them, right? Stab like a tonberry. Yuffie, please. Be my tonberry. If you're a rather person in Fall Fantasy must suck, can you file for workers' comp, bomb attack me on my way, swing across the gaps? <laughs> and I slammed my ribcage into the switch. So now I'm out. And then they, like, they don't pay you. They're like, that's too many injuries. You're clearly not fit for this job, so we're gonna have to let you go. <laughs> Her hacking. At least there's Phoenix down. Disability benefits in FF Universe? I don't know. Probably not. Their little thumbs up are so cute. It's just so wordless. Like it's it's just like it's like a cute little like thanks and you're welcome exchange. Wait, cheap, cheap, cheap. <gasps> are we seeing the birdies? That, oh my god, we have to kill its mother. Oh my god, there's cheap, cheap, cheaping. You guys know what part this is, right? Are we doing this already? Oh! 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 
Oh, it's a baby! Yeah, the, oh, in the original... <laughs> in the original, this part can happen, but you can kill the mom. And then... And then the babies... Grow up to be menaces all over the... Freaking... Mines. Oh, but they're so cute! What chocobo? We have to help them! No, it's its mom. Well, that's not its mom. The real mom will come in, right? Way ahead of you. Wait, maybe they're maybe they're playing it. Hey, over here, bird brain. Maybe they're playing it up where you actually save inside. the babies. <laughs> nice recovery. You good? Oh yeah. This thing looks freaking coked out of its mind. <laughs> Giga trees. I, that's that's the bird, all right. That doesn't look like their mom, though. Unless they twist. Unless it's like. Here, what are you weak to? Unless this this one adopted the babies <laughs> and was helping them. They look so cute in this game, though. Or they look cute as babies and grow into that, maybe. Giga, freaking Giga Chat over here. <laughs> Weak to fire and poison. Oh shit! Does any? I think Tifa has bio. God damn it! I want his bio. Because I missed it. Whoa, got pressured real fast. Bazooka doesn't seem so long range. charge at me so I just blindside and try to like go through it. Then it didn't do that and I look like a fool. Get pressured! Entered its giga phase. Go! Does he take Barrett? Wait, it's reduced now. So it's only weak to. Oh, it's immune to fire. It's weak to poison. Shit, the one time I don't have bio. Do I really not have bio? 
I need to bring it down. Using elemental magic on the cyclones it conjures will imbue them with elemental energy. You'll become pressured if hit by one of these hand cyclones. Wait, can I attack the cyclone? the tornado of fire. I see what happened there. Did it do anything to the dude? I think I pissed it off too. Oh no, not dust devil. Well, it's like in the fire tornado. Are we good? It's still immune. I need to I need to unfire my tornado. No, I'm in it. I can't like target. I see one that's like it's like red. Oops. What the fuck was that? Oh, I because I I did the retrieve. But she like went through it. Okay, I don't know, maybe I can hit it. I just need it. And shit. I wish I had bio. Wait, she's because she's paralyzed. Oh, you can't even use use care if they're paralyzed. Yeah, because you can't target the tornadoes directly. Using elemental magic on the cyclones, but you can't target the cyclones. It's just like if you're next to it, it goes off, but then it hits you, right? Oh, I see. Oh, so only a. S okay. Well, they're gone now. Silly. <laughs> black, blue, and black, or purple and gray. It's blue and black, actually. Yuffie, stop being paralyzed. Uh, what is it? Soft? Do we have soft? Is that what it's called in this? Gold needle. Oh yeah, well the cyclone phase is over because now it's just weak to fire again. Okay, now it's reduced again. Conjuring cyclones. Activating combat mode. Okay, I think I get it now. So there's only so there's only one that gets fucked up. Alright, that that's the ticket, because I earlier when I was like running around the cyclone trying to find a target, I was like, some of them target, but some don't. So it, it really is just the one. Or it's like in order, because now that one's targeted. Nobody has fire. I need Tifa's stupid ATB to go up. Cause I, I can't target the cyclones with UV. I can only target with magic. See, this is the importance of having every materia on everyone. 
But I don't have the slots or the material for that. Let's make it hot. There's a cyclone. Can Yuffie... It's probably a dumb idea, because it's probably not going to take much damage. But I need it to just, like... Oh, we got pressured! Was that Yuffie? How did I get pressured? No one did anything. I just, like, decided to get pressured. Nice! God, focus shot is so freaking good! Alright. Give it the old cyclonic kick. The double dive kick. Oh, there's the chainsaw, yeah. D okay, I see it. Double. <laughs> no! Oh, he's weak! Hurry before he's immune! God damn it! <laughs> Barret. Shoot it. Wait, Barret. Reduced or not, it's at like 2 HP. There we go. GG's. Bye bye Leave the little baby birdies alone. Double dive kick buzzsaw. That is so... I I love their synergy. Look at him go! Look at him go! Oh my god, this is like the end of Sonic Adventure. With Gamma's Come level. Or not? That chocobo... I mean, that was chocobo is. Aww! <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey! Someone has a fan. Ah, no fair. Even the birdie knows bear. It's cute, cuddly. Got enough hangers on already, but fine. Yeah, it was Saz and his baby choco and his afro, right? <laughs> Aww. Hey, hey! Hmm? Check out its head. It looks like it cloud. Remind you of anyone? It definitely looks like cloud. <laughs> it's cloud, only cute. Only cute. <laughs> That settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. He loves it. <laughs> hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Yes, the minecart. Like ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. Oh, I'm gonna already cry. <laughs> no, the first Dine mentioned. Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. Oh. Is he actually hanging out with us? Oh my god, he's is! The only thing that can make me feel better is is this little chocobo. Look, all I'm gonna say is Cloud is so lucky he wasn't there to hear that. <laughs> because, yeah, that, that would have been more damaging than anything Sephiroth would ever do. Damn, Tifa. Only cute. Cloud Jr. joined the party. I would love it if he was just like a support party member for us of the game. Look how cute he is! You know! Cause like later, later when you come back here, there's like, in the original, there's just like way more bird enemies. And it's because the ones without the, like, it's, they infested when you killed the mom. So like, they, they switched it up a little bit. To where you like rescue the babies. And I guess they have no mom anyway. So maybe when you come back here the next time, he's like all grown up. And becomes the- maybe he becomes the gold chocobo? That's- maybe. Do you even have to do cloud like that? <laughs> Tifa, he's like- he's uh, freaking Mako poison out of his mind. And you're just doing him dirty like that? Does it comment when he is? So, says what? Oh my god, though, the first- the first dying reference and I'm already crying. I'm not gonna be able to handle it. I'm ready, let's go. Join us, little birdie! Look- oh my god, from behind, he straight up just looks like Cloud, like 100%. It's kind of hard to see because of the rock behind it. There it goes, it's a little easier. That's just Cloud's hair. <laughs> Cloud comments that when he's in the party. On the, the bird? Because he can't join the party in this story part. Oh, look at a little face. Little baby. Oh. 
Look at the birdies. The okay, non-chocolate. One of these buttons ought to do it. But which one? Yeah, I got this. He's an expert. First that, then. <laughs> we did it. I hope Cloud's feeling better. He is. They did it. Nice. Nice. Right. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. This truck will literally just following us. Oh my god, like he's just making himself at home in the, his new party. Yo, PHS call. Hello, hello. This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Because of the uh, motion, motion sickness. Bear knows how to use that because he's from this area. He's probably used it dozens of times. Yo, the music. <gasps> oh, it's this one again. This period music. The Red Zap procession gets the emoji. Yeah, this is... Like, you still lower the bridge. But, like, it's just- you just go around the screen and then you lower it. Yeah, we're still on Mount Pro. Stop, stop, stop. This is a jam. Yeah, thanks for lowering the bridge, Marco. Take the lead, you're up. I'm coming! Actually, Howling Smash for the win. Oh, there it goes. We did fight a bomb, not on the bridge part, but in one of the side rooms. Float, float. He's red. Has this up? Or he did. I don't know if I took it off. I know bombs are so annoying. In this game. Howling Smash is the best <laughs> because it, it gets it gets it's so fast it's aerial it seems to do pretty good pressure it gets Red's ATB up super fast which just means instant Stardust Ray Howling Smash is great anyway I have to put assess on someone oh yeah Cloud's got nothing <laughs> Set for all. Who is? I think I gave Yuffies to him. God, is Elemental? Oh my God, Elemental's not even ranked two yet. God, I'm serious, taking forever to grind. Like, what's the AP rate? Two? Two per enemy? Yeah, I walked away from Chadley and started talking to someone else for the quest, and I can still hear him talking to no one in the background. He's the worst! That could have been you! He could have been talking out the ass to, to you. Jesus Christ, Chadley. <laughs> Take the hint. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to focus on anyone else because you just hear Chadley rambling on in the background. Grind in VR, maybe. I don't want to grind. That might be stuff I do off stream, though. 
Like if I'm, if I don't feel like streaming anymore for the for the night, and I end up wanting to, um, maybe has a test. still play or something, I could do that. Boo 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 boo. He's bitching that I haven't been gathering enough intel despite the area being locked off. She's Chadley. It's not our fault. That's not our job, Chadley. Excuse me, why don't you have enemy intel from Northern Crater? Because we can't fucking go there yet, Chadley. Who do you think you are demanding these things of me? Chadley. I don't even mind him as a character, really. It's just when he... It's, it's just because the reason, like, you just... He locks you out of his menu because you have to finish listening to him talk every time you want to go to his menu. And there's a lot of value in his menu. Like, summons, combat simulator... He's not so bad until he starts talking again. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this place! Yo, it's even broken at the top! This is just... No! Look! Hold on! <laughs> uh... Oh my god! Yeah, look. For, hold on, just just for comparison purposes. There's, there's the part where we have to like lower the bridge, with the the coaster part. Oh, here's a spoiler for Transformateria. But but look, it's actually like broken up at the top. That's that's that in the distance. That's so cool. I love this area. <laughs> Vendor dialogue needs separate UI. Oh, absolutely. It would be like the easiest fix, right? Like, Chadley, just- I need to get to your menu. Doesn't know how to properly hold a conversation. He, his- his AI is just as lonely as he is. They had the bridge at the start of the area too. Yeah, 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 yeah that- that happened and there, there's the- that part in... the- the bridge up there. It's covered now, but we were there. And like, yeah, the whole point of that in the original is also to lower a bridge, but it takes five minutes. If that, two minutes of all the battles you have to get through. But look! We should be able to switch the track. Here. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> Use the lever to select which route your companion will take currently set to Barrett's preferred route. <laughs> I mean I kinda wanna pick Barrett's preferred route, because Yuffie's reaction would be pretty funny. So you actually get to pick. Oh that bridge where they got shot. Oh yeah yeah yeah. They did. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on Barrett's. I'm really sorry, Yuffie. It's just gonna be way funnier. <laughs> Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive, your pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. No. <laughs> Please? If not for me, at least for Cloud? I mean, I am kind of curious. How about this? At the next inn, we treat you to a foot massage. <laughs> He's so mad. I love his response is just growling, but you know he loves his friends. He's not gonna do anything. They want to. They want to feel his little pawsies. <laughs> Aww. No, that's so cute. Even clouds in on it. He's just like I'm. Not curious. This is. I think chapter seven. Yo, candy. If he's gonna kill you, she survives. <laughs> if <laughs> she'll be fine. They're gonna not gonna let you. Not gonna give, give you an option that's gonna kill two of your party members or half. Red's Red's more dog. He does look lion-esque, but it's like he's a dog. He's a lab rat dog. It's up here. Maybe we find the transform material here. Don't overdo it. You ready? Hang when in doubt, Howling Do Smash. It. It With me. Yeah. 
Dude, auto haste on red and then howling smash. You can just do instant stardust, stray. Not that enemy. Plays long, I can't say he's genuine, We're just trolling other party members. I think he's genuine. Come on. I just like him admitting that he's like pretty normal, all things considered. He's curious about Red's toe beans. Red seems kind of busted. It's just like it, it's it's that Holly Smash specifically straight into Stardust. Or, yeah, Stardust, right? Yeah, I wasn't sure about Red's gameplay at first. Like, I didn't know how to use it, but it's Vengeance mode is basically just double trigger and then devil a, de a freaking vengeance mode stardust ray. Oh man. Oh, I was like, why can you get up there? But I can't. I think terrain got stuck. A safety bit? That's not transform material. God, this game's not even anything like the original. Fuck it. All dirge move. What done and hoo ha hoo when he does his claw melee. <laughs> oh my god, I love this place. Um, I don't know. I I kind of maybe I should set the ride to more chill. But but there oh there's a bomb on the track. We found it. It feels like Pokemon right now. Like it's just like a traitor in my way. Oh. Okay. Anyway, let's start and spray him. You're up. God, I can't wait to give Red auto haze. Ow! Oh, he's using in flame. No! He didn't do. Started straight and work on him. Oh no, he's pressured. I should have done that. Dude, Howling Slash seriously has so much stagger. I know some enemies more than others, but still. That's that. That's that. Maybe it's up there. I need. Oh, you know what? Okay. Because Th this is Yuffie's preferred route. So I guess they actually take the minecart. And she can hit those. So maybe something good comes out of these boxes for her. But that route's funnier. <laughs> We're gonna stick with that route. Yeah, cuz I didn't think I thought it was just gonna be a cutscene. Like you pick a route for them and then they just roll down there. Uh, but it's evidently gonna be playable. Eh, they'll be fine. All this, this looks like the spot. Let's yeah, it seems like an achievement. You're right. That's a- Oh, the bridge! Oh! There it is! Oh! oh. There's, there's- There's Barrett's hometown. Oh! <laughs> Gold saucer. <laughs> the bridge! It's not gonna be the cool shot, probably. Not like in the original, but that's okay. They ha They have to get the camera angle right. These fucking bushes are getting in the way of Gold Saucer. Dude! We're so close, it's in reach. I just saw the tense first in my brain short, short circuit and I was just like, I know where this leads to. No way. Well, you are right though. That's all the achievement stuff. That's okay. I mean, we're gonna play this game multiple times. It's not like... It's not like it matters. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Does Tifa have a say in this? What if I'm ruining my relationship with Tifa by picking the crazy route? What's route You're like? not gonna like. Did what I could. Should be fun. <laughs> Did what I could. Sure. Like, really sure? <sighs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Did what I could. Only way out is through. So buckle up, Buttercup. Sorry, Yuffie. <laughs> Well, I either have to switch my materia again, or we can just hope that. Uh, there's no enemies. 
It's, a, it's just a nice, chill minecart ride, right, Yuffie? It's fine. It's just it's, a cart. It's just a cart. It can't kill you. Even the choke was coming with us. Look, he seriously just made you so at home. I love it so much. <laughs> Even he's waiting for Yuffie. All right. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he put him? Where'd, where'd Junior go? Help Yuffie keep her mind off the motion sickness by shooting boxes the minecart races to buy the mountain. Or box you destroy the higher score will be. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, the music! We can throw Yuffie's weapon as well. Oh, this is fun. Look, she's trying! Oh, this is so amazing! <laughs> Look, see, she's fine. We're taking her mind off things. You know, Tifa's just enjoying the ride, though. Look, she's hyped! She's gonna love the ride. Oh god, she's not ready for the the big the big jump. You can just close your eyes. <laughs> she's gonna be motion sick on the highway the whole time. Don't worry. Whoa! Oh god, fuck that. I don't mind like smaller roller coasters, but like pretty vine tart. No, thank you. Wait, could you restart this if you wanted? You can! Okay, that's good to know. Gotcha. For the future, for when I have to get some dumbass achievement. I love this, though. <laughs> this is kind of similar to a minigame in Gold Saucer, by the way. Stupid fake roller coaster. I like that the point of this is because... Oh, here it comes. Oh no, Yuffie, I'm sorry! <laughs> I hate you, Cloud! You're dead, you spiky-haired <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> she knew what was coming. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, I got an excellent! Nice! Thanks for that, Cloud. That was fun. So about Cloud Jr. He's fine, I guess. Look, Yuffie, you did it! It's all over! Aww. You okay? I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Give the man a break. I think it was a memorable experience. It was. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. She's like surprised. <gasps> Who's this? There he is. Cloud Jr. has his own subtitle. <laughs> Aww. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Welcome aboard, Junior. It's like, hey, Dad. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the, that's its real mom. Oh. Ew, that's gonna grow up to that. 
You're welcome for saving your baby. I'll see you when you're a gold chocobo, maybe. To say goodbye. At least we know he's with family. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That was so sweet. I love this game. We'll miss you, Cloud Jr. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't know. I'm not ready, Barrett. I can't imagine Barrett's feelings right now. <laughs> it did the cloud shrug. I cannot use the grappling hook. That was so cute! <laughs> There's a choke that looks like Sephiroth out there, maybe. <laughs> Did you tear up too? That was so sweet. There's so many parts of this game that I'm just like, I love so much and I smiling so much and I don't know how to deal with it other than tears just start leaking out of my eyes. Yeah, sorry, Yuffie, but you made it. You're so brave. You're braver than most. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have hopped over a broken track like that. I mean, she didn't really have a choice. But anyway. Oh my god, Cloud Jr. I'm so glad I got a little screenshot of him and Cloud Jr. Does this game... I mean... I know the PS5... Yeah, there it is. New, new screenshot. <laughs> Look at this. <him. laughs> Cloud's reaction just killed me. Whatever, dude. You wanted to feel up Red's little toe beans. You can admit you look like a little chocobo. Yeah, they just stare at him. Beautiful moments like this in the game. Right! I hear about my eye leak. Oh, oh, thanks. I manage. But yeah, it's stuff like this, like when people ask like if they can jump into Rebirth without playing Remake. It's just like, you technically can. But a lot of the big moments in like what makes Rebirth so special to me is all the build up you already have with like an established relationship with the characters like in the first game or in Remake. So it's like, like you could, nothing's stopping you, but you know, if you really want to enjoy what this game has to offer. A lot of it is character moments. <sighs> Saw a clip what it happens when you screw up in Junon, Roshman. <laughs> so happy I'll have to I'll have to pick that for like hard mode or something. I am not looking forward to this. Oh Barrett. Your homecoming? You'll see. You'll see, no. Yeah, because everyone hates him. <laughs> yeah, can I read chapter five without the first four? So in the original, this this camera angle is so sick to me, and it's not really the same. Unless it starts zooming out. Which it probably won't. It's okay, it's not the same. That's fine. This is something I've been building up since before even remake came out. <laughs> With that music, it's great. It's not the same, no. This bridge took so long to cross in OG. Yeah, but the view was nice. Yeah, Watts, I agree. I didn't really like Adam Jones' characterization. Every everyone's perfect in this game so far. <gasps> North Corral. Okay, Barrett might not be ready, and I'm not ready emotionally, but we'll manage. There goes my green. No, I knew what you meant, Jake. Ah, look who it is. Be nice to bear it. The great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Why'd you be mean to him? He's hot and intimidating. It has a gun arm. I'm so arm. glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. There, a hero's welcome. Leave him alone. Nice, Yuffie. Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. To the wise, stay far away from that asshole. Now, where'd our buddies in black get to? 
Oh, Barrett. New Queen's Blood players await your challenge to North Corral. They do? I'm gonna kick their ass for being mean to Barrett. What'd you say to him? Wait. Not often we get visitors. Yeah, not often you get- Is that Johnny on Bosch? I like Johnny on Bosch. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take the cards. They're like, not every day we get visitors, and they act like assholes to Let's Barrett. Just to come run it if the monster jumps you. And Corel, it's every man, woman, and child for themselves. Sounds like him, but the act that was like off. Yeah, that was really sweet of Yuffie to defend Barrett like that. Look, like, they already feel like they bond so much. Look, they're even, like, up ahead of us. Good on Yuffie, I know. Look, you don't even have a chair to sit in. Stupid. I hate these people. <laughs> Gotta say, not a bad selection. But this one will fetch a ton of Don't tell me. Oh, the music. Can't rich quick ski blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Oh, but you don't have to. <laughs> Been out of work for ages. One thing. There was a... Mm -hmm. They all recognize him so fast? You'll see. Yeah, all these people hate Barrett, and we hate them. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Bye. Bye. I'll take anything you don't want. So much for Where's the kid to dig? Well, it's not till later, but the kid that digs up Ultima from a well. Oh, this place looks so- it's like- it's a definitely a shithole, but it looks great. Like, they nailed it. Like, it should look like this much of a shithole. It's great. Yeah, you see in Bar uh, Barrett having like a parent kid relationship is really endearing. She like hates her dad, so she's like seeks that comfort in Barrett. But he's also her friend and already. And like had to defend him. How long ago were the events here? Like three years? Oh, I don't remember. Hey guys. Do you mind if I pop in for a minute? Because of Queens. You have an acquaintance? Look at the gold saucer sign! Oh my god, oh my god, we're going! Where is it? Oh my god, it's in the distance. I can almost reach for it. Here's Ultima from a well. Super trail and otherwise very short trips to Corel. Yeah, I... I dig it though. Like, they, like this place is supposed to look, look like a shithole, but they still probably spent so much time to make sure it's like, Maybe adequately shithole. Hold on, Tifa. <gasps> oh, you play Queenswood against the dog? I have to play. Rolf? Oh, don't mind Rolf here. He's just a bit worked up, is all. Wait, do you play Queen's Blood? Rolf gets really excited whenever he senses a skill. Rocco, I'm not interested in fighting you. I'm fighting Rolf. You may find this hard to believe, but he's the no way. only canine competitor. And he's pretty good. Too. Red! Red could kick your ass in this game. He's saying he wants to go around. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh my god, roll. <laughs> What's my deck? Oh god, I have so many new cards. I want the Tonberry King for sure. Oh yeah, he's a twofer. Oh my god, I have so many new cards! Whoa, what's the code on a three? I forgot I got them. Oh, they're, they're threes? Not interested. We're the power of allied anime cards and affected tiles by one plus cards play. That sounds too big brain for me. I don't like the three the three ones. But Rolf would get to play Shinra before Red. I know! This is this is a scam. Why couldn't Red play? What is posture for do again? When you win the lane, receive a score bonus of three. That might be good.
I don't know. I Tonberry. I I feel like if, if you if you have Tonberry in your party, you need the rest of your deck to like fit him. Like you can't just have him because he's cool. So let's. I'm gonna posh over though. Yeah, you gotta build a deck around him, which is neat. But I'm sad. Mysterious Shinra Soldier was so good. Yeah, we should tell Red all about the Mysterious Shinra Soldier. Poor guy to miss the whole game. No. Freaking roll. <sighs> this sucks. Uh, give me Shinra Officer? Fuck. Well, this is fine. game show music again. I don't want to expand too much yet. I, I'm, I want to play the Arch Dragon in the middle row. Perfect. Perfect. Not perfect. We destroyed this stupid dog. Cause look, the Posh Chocobo gave us plus three anyway. We won 20 to nine. Or 22 to nine. Thank you, Posh Chocobo. <laughs> this is this why dogs can't play. Oh, boo -hoo. Someone's a sore loser. You gotta admit, he's pretty good, right? Amazing, even. Rolf is actually scheduled to make his television debut. They're doing what? a special on animals who can play Queen's Blood. And once we get famous, we Red. can finally kiss this Red, they're doing a TV bar. special! We got this. Right, Rolf? Oh, Red is gonna play circles around Rolf. Hey, Red. Get ready. You missed all of that. Dude, I hope that happens in Gold Saucer. Like, <laughs> Red versus Wolf, Rolf. It's your time to shine, Red. Never again will they deny you playing Queen's Blood. Down your pipe and smoke it, dog. <laughs> this red bean soup. Oh, red bean soup. Alright, keep uh, something about your friend or some crap. Cause we'll have a Twitch YouTube. I hope not. When Red I deserves it. In Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the they one. They brought who you all the way here. Life. Oh, you're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Connections. Come on. Oh, that's so cool. So, like from Barrett's hometown, helps Tifa. But they were able to bring her all the way here. Cause Nibelheim is not exactly next door. Like it's. It seems like it'd be much of like a bit of a walk. You're telling me she didn't die or bleed out on the way here? Interesting. Speedrunning dog at GDQ was his name Rolf. Is 
Sephiroth's Sheeran? Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> oh no. That was quick with Barrett. The hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. The only one who's nice it's, to Barrett. It's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. He's the one that, like, fixed up his arm? <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah. And you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. But it hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. Ah, that explains it. I'm sorry, Shinra? Shinra saved your life, Tifa. I know you might find it hard to believe, but not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. Aww. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? 36. All right, is there going to be a significance first, of 36 I it was later? Just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Tenova? Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. <sighs> I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You've seen many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. <laughs> Yeah, why would they go to- oh my god, there's so many things! Yeah, maybe it was rude flying it. I was thinking that for a second. It's like, what if he's had a crush on Tifa since back then? But, like, she was, like, 15, rude would be, like, oh, like, 20-something. That'd be a little weird. But anyway... That's so cool! Okay, so we were connecting a lot with this guy. Roadmen were in the OG FF7, yeah. There's, like, the sick guy in Wall Market, and then... Or near it and then like during the reunion part they weren't like this though oh and they're outside shinra manor there there were a bunch of them but they weren't really like this where there's like everywhere for its little weird period he's a little weird oh they're saying reunion so why are they going to gold saucer maybe that's maybe they maybe sephiroth is at gold saucer getting the high scores <laughs> like my prediction from the og game Cisne Crisis Core. So he, that's that's cool. Okay, I wonder who. There has to be like like a. We have to. He's hosting his birthday party there. <laughs> it's the reunion. He sent out invites, but we have to. We're gonna have to figure out who at Shinra helps, and I'm very interested, in learning who that ends up being. Because they can't just say, like, somebody at Shinra. Not that it's, like, a plot hole or anything, but it's definitely making me question, like, why? Hojo's the only one who went right, but he wouldn't help. 
In Nibelheim? Mm, Hojo wasn't there. Maybe it was just something that came up later. It's like the only ones that were there, I mean like... Maybe it's that helped Tifa would make sense. Maybe. But she's the only good person. <laughs> she's the only good turf, really. Sephiroth wasted the town, maybe Shinra came to help. Maybe, yeah, but that, that's what I mean, like, it, it does- it's not weird that Shinra, like, was there. Because the, the, they probably, you know, be like, what, our soldier went on a rampage? We gotta damage control this or something like that. But I'm just interested in fi figuring out who it is. This thing would make sense, though, but... And then maybe... Ooh, may maybe she- because I don't think she's a Turk anymore. But maybe... That was like the final straw for her. Cause like well there's more to it. That that hear me out. Because in Crisis Core there's you see Cisne as a Turk after that when she like lets Zach go. And that happened after Nibelheim. Um and like we saw Cisne like already kind of deal with the final straw, but maybe like Shinra's reaction to Sephiroth burning down Nibelheim was like, maybe that was like the catalyst of it all for Cisne to like turn. Cause that was still, yeah, she was still a Turk early on. Isn't Sung a halfway decent dude? Didn't he have some sort of moral compass when it came to Ar Aerith? Not really, he just needed her. He was just like following orders to like protect her cause they needed her. I mean, he was like doing Zack a favor, but it wasn't selfless. Tur I mean, well, Turks as an organization, I feel like, is, is always supposed to be bad, but it's like, because, like, they're, they're essentially just, like, agents for whatever Shinra has them doing. Because, like, they dropped the plate on Sector 7 because Shinra told, uh, Shinra told them to do it. So they, they're, they're bad, but it's also, it, they are also gray because, like, obviously Rude and Rito don't feel good about what they did. And then Cisne obviously didn't feel good about turning in Zack. So it's not like... It's more like they're, they they do bad things. Like, even Rude says it in Remake. He's like, I'm not bad, but I just have to do bad things. So that's basically it. He was still a Turk when they were going after Zack, and that was years after Nibelheim. Right, right, right. So... But maybe... Maybe that's, like, around the time when she quit. Seeing how Shinra reacted to stuff, because like maybe like, maybe seeing how Shinra would cover up a soldier burning down a village, was a catalyst for her to like not really believe in her job too much. And then five years later, she was still a Turk, and then she let Zach go, and then maybe that was like the end of her Turk journey, and that's why she's not a Turk anymore or something. Can't imagine. Like, five years of just, like, hating Shinra, like, could have built up for her. Anyway, possibility of Cisne helping her is there. Um, this guy's really nice. If there's one thing you can count on, That's really cool that they're able to link Tifa with this. Are we going? We're going, right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun. Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. Oh, he said. If we're doing this, let's just do it. New requests are available in Corel region. Well, we gotta do them. There's, there's two. Oh, there's there's one new one. Okay, that's the only new one. Well, we gotta do it. And then the other one is still the Johnny one. You want me to do something for you? I'll do anything for you. You are you seem like a nice guy. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your rogue men. <gasps> if you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in her head I was making money off my research. Not him. You gonna pay up? Hi, Billy. Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <laughs> Only option is to save the man myself. 
or hire the right merc to save him for me, or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human that could ever possess. Part, that was nuts. Well, yeah, the sky looks fucked you there. over there. I don't know what's going that on. Was easy. So where do we start? <laughs> I like, oh my god, we're just trying to have like a murder mystery. <laughs> the victim eyewitness, the letter. Red is so impressionable. No, I love it. I love, uh... I love that it's like a red side quest. Anyway, let's have the letter. What you see is what you get. No hidden codes, ciphers, nothing. But hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Cloud. Oh, I'm enjoying it too. There's a strong scent, but cologne, perhaps. Cologne. How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me, there's a compound in our rogue friend's UV flashlight. When exposed to this light, just hope it helps. <laughs> this really is a freaking detective mini game. The improvement same with Barrett and remake. I love Red. Red is so great. Yeah, I freaking love him. I like how he really is easily impressionable. He's just like, oh, you you complimented me. He's like Chopper a little bit. <laughs> Saying nice things won't make me like you, you jerk. He didn't call him a dog. It's true, he didn't. Maybe that's why he respects him so much. CSI girl. All right, Red. Follow me, Cloud. Yes, sir. You actually, smell them. My olfactory sense is seven thousand times more sensitive. Seven thousand? <laughs> okay, he's just making shit up now. <laughs> okay, I don't know why he's saying seven thousand is so funny. Like he's probably not wrong, but it just sounds like he's making shit up. Next, next time he's next time he's gonna say he's just like yeah, it's like a million times better than yours. It's any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of thieves, I suppose. Like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit. No. Oh, Chadley, I hear his dumbass music. Fucking. Anyway, we don't smell like literal shit, naive. This is so cute. I, I love the side mission in this game is, is like one of the best improvements. Everything about this game is amazing. Oh, sorry, Red. What is that? Is that is that the guy who gave me the ransom letter? Whoa! The landworm. We found the tremor. Don't worry, Kevin Bacon, we got this. Oh, the music? We got our worms. Ooh. Now that's a cello. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Ward and Kevin Bacon and drive a pickup and kick his ass. Dude, Charmin is one of the best movies. We fight, huh? How you like this? <laughs> you need to chill. Oh, wow, damn it. That was quick. No, Yuffie! <laughs> that was quick, he says. Look, now he's just rolling. Very sneak attack of you. It's on you. Let me Do you Kevin Bacon smells like bacon? Red? It was ba Kevin Bacon smell like. Never seen Tremors to watch them, even if they think it's gonna be stupid, they end up loving it. It's impossible to hate Tremors. It's so good. Like the main characters are actually smart. Because like that if you if anybody here hasn't seen Tremors and the, and you enjoy movies or you you enjoy plot lines where it's like the power of friendship and the power of teamwork, 
gets the job done. Tremors is legit that, like, they are so smart with working, these strangers working as a group together to figure out how to deal with fucking landworms. It's so great. Definitely watch Tremors. Power of planning. Yeah, freaking law. <laughs> the fogger law would sure love <laughs> being part of the Tremors. Hell, nobody, nobody knows. Who hasn't seen Charmers on the over Raboid is? Oh, but you will. I'm holding my Rune B blade. I just really like how it looks in this. That's all. Yeah, Charmers is the best. I saw Charmers in a theater. It was amazing. Like, not when it was new. I, it was like, oh, I'm not that old. Wait, what year did Charmers come out? You're done. Oh, I'm like, where's the enemy? Yeah. Name Sandpitter. Early 90s. Oh, is it like 91 or 92? 90. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, there's no way. But anyway, I saw it in a the theater like a couple years ago. Bono. 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 This thing's annoying. I kind of wanted to attack Cloud. <laughs> Stupid idiot. He did exactly what I wanted to do. That reminds me of Kyrie. Why would you say that to me? <laughs> I can stripe. Yeah, man, Stripe's gonna remind you of Kyrie. This seems to lead straight ahead, but oh, that's not good. Oh, that's what? not good. Nothing. Let's continue. What's wrong, Red? Spit it out, my buddy. No. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you hungry? Uh -huh. You must be hungry, huh? Aww. Sorry, but this is people food. Don't talk to him like that. That's red food. Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. <laughs> Aww. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Marco in a chocobo carriage? I know, I love that Red is all like, don't treat me like a dog, and then he does dog things. It's the best. Though I am a skilled tracker. I have one terrible weakness. Food? What? My appetite. Aww. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? Aww. Where'd he go? How's he all the way over there? <laughs> Are you ashamed? Are you, like, hiding? <laughs> Yo, Santana, thank you for 10 months. Almost a year. <laughs> Alright, Togo with a carriage, huh? He's not a dog. You just do dog things. Yeah, what happened? Look. You gotta be close. Frality? Time to put the doctor's I've light to use. Never seen that now. Oh, here's the murder mystery part. Switch the tracks. Oh, I, I had I had the Barrett jump because I want to see Yuffie's reaction. <laughs> it was it was great. Is that what you picked? I also just wanted to pick the Barrett option because I love him. Same. <laughs> Her like I hate you, Claude. To me, it had the same energy as when Ashley's like this sucks and remake before remake. I took the UVA light. Bunch of hands. This is so cool. Give me more detective stuff. 
Cloud's like, holy shit, being a detective is so fun. Soldier who? Oh, the music. Cave music. We won't hold back. It's on now. Let's get it. Now. Why me? You're done. I can do that again. Yo, can I sit at a bench? Like the things in four? Oh, they are. Just got a wait encounter. <laughs> He's also a detective, you know? <laughs> All caps, nice. <laughs> Cloud Strike PI. That should be the spin off. Just a random Cloud Detective game. I will use all my regular potions, so watch me find a bench next room. <sighs> yeah, Cloud and Tifa solving crimes. Oh my god, imagine them in like detective getups. Oh my god, they look so cute. Like, like how, like, tail? Hold on. Like. Like, this is Tails in, like, the the murder mystery Sonic game, right? Like, imagine Tifa wearing something similar. <laughs> That'd be so- and, like, her hat? Oh my god, it would look so cute. This is the first outfit I thought of. Cloud could be in, like, the Sherlock Holmes suit, and then Tifa could have, like, the... the other look. Or maybe Tifa- oh, no, no, no! Tifa would be, like, yeah, the murder- the murder of Cloud Strife! <laughs> Tifa would be the tails in that, so she I guess she's like the Sherlock Holmes trying to solve his murder. And then her assistant could be like we found our man, what we do Oh maybe Red. Time? Well, Sharon asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapper. You mean we'll figure it out later. We kill him. Understood. And then Aerith's like stirring shit. But like wishbone. I used to go that way, but what if there's items here? Do -do -do -do. All right, let's. That probably is for the exit. I feel like Yuffie could be this shit stirrer too. Whoa! All right, let's use some pearl ginger root. Jesus, I hate all these items. What haven't I built yet? I guess that gold needle. Flower pendant. I need a lot of oregano and planet splendor for that, and then I need more of the same. What the heck is wrong with- whoa! It's a cool looking chimera. Wait, they both look different. Deal with that. You won't regret this. Weak to fire. Easy. We actually all have fire. <laughs> Massive shit stir. <laughs> she's very sweet, but she's also stir and shit. It's funny. Ow. God, I would die to get fire right about now. Jeez, get off my ass! Yeah. 
Don't overdo it. Why is it always gonna be me? Ah. I'm stagger it. Mm. Okay, the freaking screen exploded, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but he came out of that pressured. He's pressured again. Cool. Yuffie. Keep it together. Oh, the pressure's gone. Woo! Anyway, my flashlight. Oh, that connected anyway. Okay, so we have to follow the trail. Wait, there's a way up? Oh, this is a way down, okay. Yo, like... He, there's just like handprints, like, they just touched the wall the entire way down here. This place is cool. Who does this? <laughs> Who does this other than video game victims? You know what? I think I'm think I'm all, I'm gonna start touching everything I I encounter. Cause what if I get murdered like five seconds into like a target or something? And like secretly? But if I touch things, people can find my uh my my path and then hopefully find out who murdered me. Yeah, I'll leave an audio log too. Hopefully where I die. I'll start writing notes everywhere. Honestly, like, we don't even need notes anymore. That's like, kind of like Discord. Be like, well at this time, her last message in Discord was talking about she went to Target. And then we haven't heard from her since. Like, that's the note. Classic, if anyone finds this video. I'm gonna have that ready, just in case. <laughs> if anyone finds this video, uh... <laughs> Jag your hands on the wall while walking, so I'd be these people. Well, now I know who, who does all this. It's you. Last pick was a Sonic figure at Target. I'm like, okay, we know just the aisle to check. Leave my stream 24-7. I'd get so exhausted at some point. Like, I wouldn't even feel like a person anymore. <laughs> I'd just feel like a shell of myself. Just being on stream the whole time. Feel like I'm living in the Truman Show. Yo, look how cool Death Claw looks! Rolls up before death. Where's the hands again? Billy, really, have you seen Devil Ride yet? Or Hell Rider, whatever he's called? I wrote down Devil Ride. I haven't either. He has a card though, and the card. I didn't see. I kind of saw it in the card. I was trying to avoid the card. So hopefully he's not just a card guy. He's the first thing on my list. Didn't get him. I didn't get the sunshot. 
Oh, mom bird boss fight. We did technically get that. What the hell is this? It looked like he had the long arm. Yeah, he, it actually, well, it kind of did, but yeah, I, I don't think he has him as, he didn't look like the long arm tribe and. Well, even he can do this. He didn't look like a long arm tribe, so I don't know. No. Oh, materia. No, give me that. Hold on. Can you land back on the ground? Give me that materia. Whatever it is. Winding. Boom, boom. So I need to make sure I can grab that one. How? Hey, a bench! I, yeah, I felt like a Saz reference. He like even landed on its head. The Choco- or Cloud Jr. was so cute. <laughs> and then when he lands on Cloud's shoulder, Cloud's like, kill me. <laughs> oh, this game. Uh, down there. Okay, hold that thought. What's down here? Game is magical. Like, everything... Like, I might hate when Chadley rambles, <laughs> but everything more than makes up for Chadley's rambling. <laughs> so red and scary. The door opened. You know, with the text, it kind of feels like somebody's narrating. Like in a murder mystery. The door opened. Our heroes proceed forward. There's just someone here. This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Oh, are you faking Some it? Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave. Oh, help! Mm. <laughs> the music. It was as a Corneo. <laughs> but I don't trust her. But tell me about the kidnapper. Huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at it. Sure. Him. Mm. The kidnapper could be anywhere, or anyone. A smell. Cloud. I figured. Step. Shit. Are you the kidnappers? Oh, Yay, Yakuza did it off! You a clever little I was gonna say that too! Out the truth. Who are you people? Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive. Harry the Brash. What the hell? What, they just can, like, they have a pet death claw? <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. She does look like Android 18. Whatever, I've never know. We're about to know in two seconds when Let's I Oh Dark Claw, my bad. Still gonna counter him. He's like fuck this. Don't overthink it. 
overdo it. You won't regret this. Here I go. My weak to anything, evading its Reaper Claws attack will pressure it. Oops, not that. I dodged it all right. It worked. You ready? How come he's not going after Tifa? No, come on, he's so close to being staggered. I keep needing to do focus strike. Okay, I keep doing dive kick on it, actually. Dive kick for the win. Oh, they're coming back. That's pretty brave. Give us the guy, or you're next. Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Now? Now nothing. Dog or no dog, they're never gonna be able to find that dude without us. Hear that? Give us the money, or we're gonna... What? Marco! <sighs> He's like, help! <laughs> hey! We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. <sighs> What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! What's the point of all that? Let him go. God, they're dumb. We got our man. No, Red, get him. <sighs> also, I like how side missions have cutscenes. Let's take him back to Sheeran. Like these random ass characters are just side characters. We've helped Glad your to boy. See our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Yeah, I don't know what their plan was. Soldiers' cells degrade. Uh oh. Believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was going to have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure Liar. you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. I would let him. Cloud, show him your arm. <clears throat> Yeah, they found one road man and thought one million gil, even though this man completely never pay that. They're pretty dumb. They really are like Jesse and James, because they're dumb too. <laughs> well, I suppose it is time. Really should just let him have the blood sample. I know, he could help! Soldier degradation, like, we know that's a thing. I don't want- I don't want what happened to Genesis happen to him. Oh. Here with this one with the gun. We think she's the strongest Pokemon ever. Yeah. They've never been smart. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back and then we'll go to the saucer. Although, I always found this part kind of funny because it's like Barrett's super sad and depressed and everyone else is like, let's have fun! So, let's see how they do it here. That's your cuter run. Oh, I hope you enjoy Gold Saucer! 
The saucer! I know, I'm so excited. I love how dingy the sign is. Like, it's it's like this grand, beautiful thing. For anyone playing Remake for or this for the first time, not playing the OG, uh, you'd think that, like, oh, it's just some, like, carnival. Because <laughs> they even have, like, carnival, um, like, what are they called? The tent hoods, <laughs> what are they called? Yeah, when you see it from the mines, it's just, like, in the distance. I looked up, and I was like, holy shit. Or, like, well, it was over by the bridge. I don't think I noticed it, like, super right away. But... But anyway, pavilion, is that what it's called? Well, the circus tents? Yeah, but, like, the top part, I guess it'd just be a circus. Well, it's not, like, a whole tent. It's just, like, the top parts. Like, on carousel rides. Are those called pavilions? <clears throat> but anyway, it looks like a carnival, and we're about to get your mind blown when you go in there.